Here at Hacienda La Puente, we started our work with CSTEM last year in summer of 2019. And I still remember being in that training with our very own middle school and high school teachers, really afraid of what we were about to get ourselves into. For the most part, they were math teachers who may not know much about technology, while the rest of us were tech, but didn't know much about math. So we did have quite a bit of fear and a lot of apprehension, but we found ourselves excited and successful as we went through the training. We could just imagine what our students would feel when we brought it back to them in the classroom. So we spent the first year watching our teachers go through this program with our kids. And we were very excited to see those kids who ordinarily struggled to find success and be able to tackle those math concepts and being able to accomplish things that they didn't feel they could do. So that was very rewarding for them and also for us. So once we found out that we were bringing CSTEM down to the elementary, we got so excited to be able to catch our kids early on and to be able to open these doors for them. So we started our training this last summer with our elementary teachers. And again, there was quite a bit of fear there because a lot of our teachers did not know anything about coding and robotics. And to add to that, we were also all distance learning. So we weren't even sure if it would be possible to teach our little ones how to go through this program from a distance. But in a few moments, you're going to see how hard our teachers have worked to make sure our kids have this access even from a distance and how successful they could be at coding even at a young age. Since we started doing CSTEM, we've noticed great participation rates from our students in their work completion and in their attendance. Uh, we were able to present the curriculum as a way of enforcing our students' work habits at home to be able to support their learning of standards in each grade level uh, through the math curriculum and as a way for students to get excited about learning those skills, their addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, their problem solving skills in a way that was online and interactive. And, and since then, uh, we've been able to to see our students engage more. We have students who uh, weren't doing work and now that we've brought CSTEM in, they are very excited to get through the work so that they could get to their CSTEM projects. And so far it has been a wonderful addition to our distance learning program. And even more exciting is we just can't wait until eventually we can actually do this in person with the robots and with the students in the classroom. Not only did she do this, she did background and she morphed into a hummingbird. Can you run it again? I think we all need to give uh, Cece a <laughs> round of applause. Yeah, Cece, she did good. She did really well. All right, thank you, Cece. My favorite thing about CSTEM is that it provides students the opportunity to learn about robotics and engineering during their K through 12 education. Most importantly, CSTEM helps students make the connection between engineering and robotics using our existing math curriculum. By doing so, not only are students able to reinforce and learn math concepts, but learn how to code simultaneously. If you don't do your homework, friends, I won't be able to get the robots to move. Okay, ready? And there it goes. There it goes. What shape did the robot draw? A square. A square, that's right. One of the things I really like about CSTEM is that the lessons correlate to our math curriculum. I have been able to incorporate some of the skills and strategies that we're learning in math. For example, so far I have done counting on, counting back, and different ways to make a number in some of the coding and math lessons. But I think my favorite thing is that the kids are enjoying the activities and are having fun while learning. Quiero enseñarte algo nuevo que Robo Blackley hizo. Ves aquí donde dice English? Puedes hacer clic y mira, ahora también tenemos la opción de escucharlo en español. Mueva el robot para estar debajo de la moneda. A ver, entonces, quiero que me ayude. Deja ver, ¿quién me quiere ayudar? ¿Cuántos pasos hacia adelante voy a mover mi robot para que esté debajo de la moneda? A ver, Evan, ¿cuántos? Nueve. Nueve. Entonces, aquí voy a poner nueve porque voy a moverlo para enfrente nueve pasos. Ahora, tengo que poner otro bloque. Porque ahora lo voy a mover hacia atrás. ¿Cuántos hacia atrás? Mira, 
Voy a mover para que esté debajo de la alcancía. Levanta la mano si me puedes ayudar. Alguien diferente. A ver, Hali. Cuatro. Cuatro. Creo que estás en lo cierto. Cuatro. Vamos a ver. Tengo que poner run para hacerlo. Nueve. Muy bien, correcto. Me ayudaron. So here we go. So today we're going to be adding and using an addition table. What number is this, boys and girls? Five. Five. And let's go over here. What number is over here? Six. six. All right, on your whiteboard, can you tell me what five plus six equals? A lot of you I saw put number 11. So I, you notice how I did that? I hit run. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit submit. Let's see if we're right. Are we right? Yeah. Yeah, we're right. You guys did a good job. So pat yourselves on the back. The good work. Oh, look at over here. We're going to be adding groups of cherries. Cherries. Yummy. Can we do that in homework? This is going to be homework today. Yay! Yay! I just some of it. Yay. We're going to add cherries. Missa, can we do some of it? Like Robo Blockly? Yes. Why? It's because, um, I really like strategy games and bubble broccoli. In my mind, it's like strategy. It helps me learn about math. Feel happy. Make me feel excited. Todavía interesante. Feliz. Interesante. Adiós. Gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.